All right, folk, getting a start to the day. Um, for One Man Talking Tuesday. Issue one. Caught the second mouse. I think that was his old lady. This one's a little smaller than the other one. The, the I think the the guy was the big the big bigger one. This poor little thing. That's a little one. But I had to go. Uh, number two, I haven't had my coffee yet, so I need my coffee. And haven't had my granola yet. But anyways, so I'm gonna drink my coffee. Have my granola. Go and uh, toss her in the woods real quick. And get back to you for regular old One Man Talking Tuesday. Later, folk. Hey, folk. Holy crap, is it hot today. Man, it's hot in here too. So I'm just hanging out before I go in and uh, hunker down and... I got the, and, and I turn on the fan, I got the battery charger pack uh, back up all the way to 100. I had it all the way down to 9%. Um, last couple nights haven't been that bad at all. But uh, here and there it gets a little muggy. So you gotta turn on the fan and, um, you know, cool off a little bit, then I turn it off. But uh, before these last, I'd say three nights, before that it was really really muggy at night so I was just leaving the fan on and it uh, it killed the juice down to 9% I never let it get down that low but I don't know I gotta blame myself I guess I was slacking off a little bit uh, going out and doing some other things and uh, forgetting to uh, take it to power and power it up you know and charge it that that's my fault but I usually don't let it get down that low but uh, anyways back up to 100 got plenty of power and uh, just got to remember uh, you know, it's no problem after every use. I mean, I could use that thing all night and then just go somewhere, plug it in, and uh, boom, it's charged up within a couple hours. So it's no biggie. And uh, I should be getting off my butt and going to do some freaking laundry today, but I do not feel like it. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll bring you along with me for the joyous occasion of van life laundry. But anyways, I was going to speak on some other stuff, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm just uh, sick and tired of pretty much all the nonsense that's been going on pretty much this entire freaking year. <clears throat> Left Youngstown. When I was in Youngstown, there was nothing uh, in Ohio. There was nothing but triple homicides left and right. Then I get to back to Connecticut, and poof, we have a pandemic. And allegedly, you don't know if the pandemic's still going on or is it done now because we're all pissed off about this now. And I'm not going to speak on that. I'm not going to do it. And uh, uh, so, so, yeah, it's just been one thing after another, after another, after another since I've gotten back. But as I was saying, uh, I don't know, the last video, the video before some of that, things are opening up. Um, we are in the, I believe, first phase of opening. <gasps> Yay! In Connecticut. <clears throat> so, I believe phase two is, because uh, right now, during phase one, you can eat outside. Phase two, you could go inside, I think. And sometime during July, I think they're going to open camping and everything up. So, anyways, it's slowly but surely getting there. Uh, they did open up the park, so I think I can. There's a couple places I think I could go now, and I'm and I'm uh, getting ready to do that. Um, I'm just throwing it up in the air. I don't know if I want to get my front end looked at because of the wobble. Um, I might want to get that looked up, looked at real quick and get and take care of before I go out to where you know. I'm I'm staying in state for a while. There's a few, few spots I need to hit. Uh, but I know at one point Gettysburg's one of them, and. Uh, I definitely want to get that wobble fixed. Plus, I got to shoot to Ohio, say hi to my little folks. And uh, also, Ohio is opening up quicker than Connecticut is. And um, I am just hoping that one of the things that open up is Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So I could go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. God willing. But anyways, uh, that's going to be about it. I... Uh, 
I did a review. I think I'm going to throw the review in on this one and, uh, you know, get all that out of the way. And uh, that's probably going to be about it. It's, it's, it's a totally dead day. Um, I spent most of the day just getting my, my energy all charged back up in the, in the battery and all that. And, uh, you know, it worked. So, yeehaw. But anyways, uh, probably laundry tomorrow. A whole not, not a lot, whole lot tomorrow either, but I'll try and get something up for you and say what's up. But till then, don't forget, always forward to the next adventure. The vlog is down. All right, folks. Chilling with Eddie and Eddie's ride today. I get to chill in the passenger side. So chilling with Eddie. Yeah, he had to go get gas yeah, yeah. and everything. Uh, no, you he's don't. Uh, he's working on this one, fixing this one up. Uh, and while I was there, whoosh, I found these. Never seen these before. Slim Jim pork rinds. So I'm gonna add, uh, barbecue flavor actually. So I'm gonna check these out, do a review in a while. Pray for me that we get back with uh, Eddie over here driving. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, anyways, we'll like, catch you later, folk. All right, folk. Well, I will thank you all for your prayers. I made it safely with Eddie driving. We are back home and made it safely. <laughs> yeah. All right, so anyways, we have these. Who pulls up behind Just you? found them, all right? Yeah. Slim Jim pork rinds. Hog Wild Barbecue. So I have never seen these before. And like I said in a previous um, video, I go into these little places and everything and I find something like this. I, I looked around and I pretty much was about to give up and poof, I saw this. I said, oh, there we go. I got to try this. So Slim Jim Hog Wild Barbecue. Seasoned pork rinds. I believe that's what it says. I don't know. Don't have my glasses on. But anyways, uh... They also had um, a hot, hot fire one, and I believe that was uh, Buffalo Hot Fire, some, something like that. But anyways, I just wanted to try these, so I got the uh, Hog Wild Barbecue. So, oh lordy, uh, let me switch hands here. And we are going to check it out and see how they are. Hmm. Well, tiny bit of spice to them. Not too much at all. Tiny bit of spice. Let's try another one here. I'm not tasting a lot of barbecue at all. Um. Hmm. It's good. They're good. Extremely crunchy. Have a tad bit of spice to them. Not too bad. Um. They're good pork rinds. Damn good. Um. But, you know, like, when I see the name, like, Slim Jim on them, I'm expecting to taste a little Slim Jim-ish slash barbecues, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, so, uh, no, no Slim Jim type flavor. And if there is, I'm not tasting it. Um, a slight barbecue flavor, um, which is, it, it, the, the, the slight flavor is good. Um, and it's a tad bit spicy. A tad bit. Not too much at all. Uh... Probably even a little less than a jalapeno, so uh, not not bad at all. But um, anyways, what I will end up doing is I'll probably I'm gonna hang out here for a bit, see what's going on. Um, somebody else had uh, possible plans that we might do, uh, or it may turn into nothing today. I don't know, but we'll see. But anyways, you got this. Um. Also, I discovered last night that Ragnar Mousebrook was not alone. He has, I don't know if it's his old lady or if he was forming a war party against me. I don't know what's going on. 
I don't know if this is a Mice Lies Matter situation where I whacked him, so now they're all coming up to kick my ass. I don't know. But uh, anyways, I thought maybe I, I was a little paranoid, and uh, I heard some uh, noise last night and everything. I was like, maybe I'm paranoid. I just whacked this guy. You know, I'm just hearing things. But nope, I woke up this morning. I heard a little rumbling right close to the bed. So I happened to roll over, and poof, there's another one. I said shit, so... I should have left, but I had both traps done last night. After I caught the first one, I undid the other trap. I said, screw it, I got them. Should have left it, and I probably would have snagged this one too. But anyways, the war continues. I got Ragnar Mousebrook. Now I think I got to get Lagatha Mousebrook. Oh, yeah. It's a whole Viking war party, and I'm going to get them. I don't feel bad anymore. You're reading me. All right. Later, folks. Uh, just in case I don't do any more today, I'll just work to the next adventure. The vlog is down. But if I am doing anything else, I'll come and see you. Later, folks.